Colin here with Max Tie Downs. We've got a little bit of an unusual project in the shop today. We're helping out the fine folks at the Bonner County EMS. That's our local emergency medical services division of Bonner County government. Uh, they work closely obviously with police and fire as well. They've got this six wheeled Polaris contraption with essentially an ambulance box on the back. Nice aluminum trailer that they purchased for the task. However, as it often goes, they're wondering how do we better connect the vehicle to the trailer. As you can see, they went to their favorite big box store and bought some typical tie downs with about 47 miles of excess that they have to, you know, figure out a way and, and a means to tidy up. Now, as the name indicates, um, in many cases, speed is of the essence when they deploy this vehicle. We need to make this fast and safe and reliable because we don't know where this vehicle is going, when it's going. It's all about the emergency response time. You'll notice that this vehicle is also backed on the trailer, which normally we wouldn't recommend. However, it is the right solution in this case because there's a whole lot of weight in the back of this, much more so than the front of the machine. They've got a 4,000 watt generator tucked under here as well as the weight of the ambulance compartment on the back. So they've done the right thing in putting the vehicle on the trailer backwards. We just need to make their tie downs a whole lot better. One of the things that we're going to solve in take two of this video sequence is we're going to install our L-shaped wheel chalk because being that the, ve the vehicle is backed on the trailer, it's very difficult for the driver to get a good frame of reference as to where the vehicle is actually sitting as it comes on the trailer. And as you can see, this vehicle maximizes the available space on the trailer. We're actually gonna tighten this up for them a bit, bringing the bumper of this craft within about two inches of the front rail of the trailer. Um, it'll get a little bit better weight distribution and ensure a proper fit. So we're going to be installing tire nets, a new product as a deck fitting that we'll show you, and a pair of our L-shaped wheel chocks, making it very easy for one man to back this machine on to the trailer safely and get it ready to roll. All right, folks, so here we are. We have got the Bonner County EMS 6x6 Polaris contraption and its trailer all finished up. As you can see, we fashioned our custom fit tire nets over the top of each tire with our double stud anchor plate assembly, both front and rear. That is a five inch long piece with a double stud ring attached into it. It is ideal when you need a good strong attachment, but you need not have the adjustability that track offers. So a great way to go. And we did the same thing on the rear. In addition, to the double stud anchor plates, you can see we attached our L-shaped chocks permanently to the deck in this case, because that's just how the customer wanted it. As you can imagine, driving this thing, particularly with this box on the back, your vision out the back is limited. So another great purpose of the L-shaped chalk is to aid in the driver knowing when he is not only centered on the trailer, but also an appropriate stopping point which ends up perfectly where there's sufficient travel remaining here for those bumpy roads. Even if this thing were to wildly compress, no risk of tagging that front rail. So it's really as simple as that. And unlike the last go around where they had some big box door, you know, macrame stuff under there, speed is of the essence in a vehicle like this. They may need to deploy it for an emergency as the name indicates, right? So this way it's simple, it's fast, it's repeatable. Anybody can do it. The nets are sized the same size on all four corners so they can simply grab a net and go. Turned out very well. Let us know how we can help you at 800-666-1586 or find us on the web at maxtiedowns.com.